Hi guys. So um, I have uh, I got the voice live play CC Helicon, and I've been trying to like use it, um, search for tutorials online, but I couldn't find uh, much that actually go into in depth. Before I bought it, I mean, I tried to search for tutorials online that actually showed what it offers before I proceed to buy it, but I couldn't find any uh, proper videos. Most of the videos were like recordings of people performing. And then just videos that they just go very fast and they don't actually go into in depth to to uh, in depth to see what this uh, device offers. So today I'll be so I decided that I'll just buy it and then after buying it I'll just try to like do some in depth tutorial and so I can help other people who want this device. So yeah, I'll be going into depth. So it might take like it might be a really long ass video, but. I hope you stick around if you really want to like know what it offers before you buy it. So here we go. First, um, I just got it out of the box. This is a this is a voice life play harmony effects. It's different from the voice life play acoustic. The voice life play acoustic has a guitar input and uh, output, but this just has uh, the mic input. And then the voice life Play acoustic, the, the voice play acoustic has the guitar effects too, but this only has the vocal effects. That's why you just have effects here. Let me wait for the for it to focus. So, if you look, it's written effects, effects. So it doesn't really have like the the guitar effects. So this is just a vocal effect, and then it has a practice. Uh, focus so it has a practice button here he, uh, I think this practice is just for like uh, vocal exercise so it just guides you through like having uh, uh, producing accurate notes and all that stuff so yeah I just got it out of the box um, in the box you'll find well, let me just get the box this is a box you'll find a uh, it will be fitted here let me see uh, here and then you have another box here which contains the charger it also has like a, this uh, adapt. I don't know why I call it what I call it adapter which is supposed to like help you plug into like uh, uh, sockets that are circular and this one this is what it comes with I don't know if it's focused yeah this is what it comes with but you can attach this and sort of use it for every kind of socket you have so I think that's like super good because I've had situations where I just bought uh, stuff and this is what it came with and I couldn't use it except uh, I had to go out and buy an adapter for like a couple bucks so here we go um, I'll just and then it comes with a USB that's actually super in, uh, intuitive that he added a USB cable because some other uh, companies will ask you to go and buy a USB cable and then they have a manual in here I don't want to bring it up yeah you can see it. there's a manual you can go through it but let me be your manual for this video so here we go I'll be plugging it and I mean plugging it oh my God. Yeah, that's how it turns on, and then I'll plug my amplifier because I'll be showing you guys a demo of how this works. Ah. And then I'll be plugging my mic. So the mic is supposed to go here. And then the mic is supposed to go out through here. So the way this works is if you're just if you um if you're using this using it in stereo mode, both the raw voice and the effects, the voice that has effects on it, comes out in through both of these channels. But if you're using it in mono mode, 
uh, the one without effect comes out on the right it's written right here that's why I'm saying right the one without effect comes out on the right and the one with effect comes out on the left I don't know if you can see that I'll show you guys all this just let me plug this in okay and then I'll plug the aux yes it does have an aux input okay and then you still have a space for pedal you have the right output as I said and you have the headphone space and I'll show you guys that uh, with a close-up view later so that's it that's my setup and uh, so I'll just uh, go through the settings by giving you a closer look on the screen I hope that will be clear enough check check let me increase the volume check 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 actually the first thing you should do is in, uh, set the mic sensitivity somewhere around here I'll show you that but for now let me just go through this check check Bye. okay so this is so this so this as I said is the mic input let me just show you behind it mic so this is the mic mic input I'm sorry guys mic input aux pedal right left right comes without effects if you're in mono mode left comes with effects but if you're in stereo both of them just produce the same thing and then that's the power on and then that's the usb connection and that's the um headphone uh output if you can see that so that's that and then here you have the three pedals the sorry So here you have the genre, setup, effects, favorite, practice, and mix. And then you have the name of it here, voice live play. If you're using a play acoustic, you'll see it here, play acoustic. They're very different, but the problem is a lot of people confuse both of them. They're different. Just know that. This is just for the mic, and that one is for the both mic and, uh, and guitar. So this is the one of the right knob, the left, I mean the left knob, the right knob, and then this heat button, I'll show you uh, how to use it. And then you have the back, I'm just showing you all the buttons for now, and then this is supposed to be a knob, for now it can just scroll through the effects, uh, sorry, the, John, the, what do you call this, the presets, yeah, that's that. And then the store is supposed to help you store effects, I think. Like after using after creating some effect you can store it in some of the in some of the uh, blank spaces. So that's that. Now let's go through the functions of this pedal. So the first thing I want to check is the genre. Genre when you click it you'll have like all genres if you if you start scrolling on this all genres it's supposed to like just literally show you
Okay, this buttons are not supposed to work in this bag. Okay, so it goes through all the genres. I think we can just pick one, for example. Let's pick uh let's pick pop. I mean why not? And then how how am I supposed to use this? Okay, this does not work. I'm not sure how this works. Okay, yeah, I'm supposed to still click genre to get it. So, this is. Let's go through it again. So, this is a pop. There are different genres. You can click it. Immediately, you find the genre you want. So, we are picking pop, right? So, what happens is after we select the genre by. Uh, by turning this knob. You just click genre again and then it shows you only presets that are under the pop genre if you watch closely you just notice the number change it will not move like three four five six seven eight it will be jumping from one number to the other that's like that's the way it's that's just showing you the, the presets that are under the pop genre see I mean I think you should know some of the songs I know rolling deep uh, I'm not sure about the rest of the songs, but the, yeah, I've seen a couple songs that I know. Hotel California and Hotel California is not on that pop, I think. Summer of '69. I think this is what they mean. <laughs> yeah. So that's that for the genre. You can go back and select. You can take it back to all. I think that's the default genre. Then it goes through it one by one like that. See. All means like all the presets because I mean all genres so it just selects all the presets that's that for genre I think there's not much to do here you can just go through it and pick any genre let's say rock or alternative and then it shows you only alternative presets only presets that are under the alternative genre that's that for genre I think if there's anything you can just ask me in the comment I'll try to reply Next is the setup. So what the setup does is, uh, it's like the general setup of the of the pedal. It's um, it's everything. It's the loop. It's the aux. It's the output. It's everything. So let's just start from the first page. So this is where you're supposed to select the mic. I'm using a dynamic mic, so I have selected dynamic mic. But oh, before I continue, actually, when you see a, a screen, a screen like this, to select any part of the screen, all you have to do is uh, tap the part, the button close, closest to the to that part of the screen. For example, dynamic mic is this. I can select room sense. Nothing will happen after you tap it. It will just move the focus there. Then you can tweak it if you want to. You can select mic control by tapping this you see so whenever you're on the screen like this all these buttons no longer work like favorite practice mix effect setup genre they now start working like uh, navigation buttons to help you like navigate pick any part of the screen to focus on so let's go back to the first part which is this part input and we go there by clicking general button input dynamic mic so I'm using a dynamic mic, that's why it's, I said it like that, but I didn't just set it like it actually came like that. I think they just expect that you're, you'll be using a dynamic mic. But if you're not, there are other mics. MP75 mic, this mic, USB left, USB right. I don't know why this keeps... Like that. So I'll go back to dynamic mic because, I mean, that's what I'm using. Let me just end this video and start again. It seems like the focus keeps giving a problem. 
okay I think this should be better so um, you can select inputs dynamic mic or any of the mics that's done then this room sense I'm actually not sure what this room sense does but it's not even tweaking so I don't know I think I have to figure that out before I can get, say anything about it or you just figure it out yourself but I have not needed it so far so I think out of the box you probably not need it but over time you can try to read the manual and figure it out sorry I'm not such a good manual <laughs> but I try my best aux type this we I, I actually use this and it has like you might think it has no difference but it actually has makes a huge difference so aux type is like when you connect anything to the aux you have to tell this device what type of aux uh, what type of um, sound is it going to be receiving is it a track or is it like a live situation for example a live situation is in the sense that maybe you are you have a piano and you connect it directly to this and you're like playing the playing through the aux that's the live situation and then this second one which is tracks is when you're connecting it to your phone and you're playing maybe some uh, some song like um, instrumental from your phone and you're going to be singing on top of that that's where you use this tracks type and if you know you're not going to be looping on top of the tr you're not going to be looping the tracks in any way that's where you select the tracks if you're going to be doing anything like if you're not if you're going to be doing anything like maybe looping it loop uh, playing from a piano playing from a drum electronic drum or something if you're just going to be doing anything like live use the live uh, the live type here otherwise if you're going to be just singing karaoke for example just use this I mean, I mean it's pretty explanatory the re difference between both of them is when I use the live I, I, I once tried using the tracks type for uh, keyboard and what happened is there's a lag in the and how the the time the, the sound transmits so when I press the key it takes so long it takes like I think one second two seconds delay one second delay I think before you hear the sound and of course I don't want that in a live situation so I so in that kind of situation I just switch it to the tr live and it started working smoothly immediately I just tap it the sound comes in immediately like it, it comes out I mean so you don't face that problem that live problem so just confirm that oxygen type is live not tracks if you're doing a live situation otherwise use the tracks if you're doing a karaoke thing my control I think is only when you have that uh, sorry about that sound my control is when you're using the TC Helicon uh, mic which is supposed to like I think it's written here MP75 mic so that mic is supposed to like help you I think if you're using the mic you can use it to like uh, control the effects from the mic without actually having to tap any of this uh, buttons you just use the the mic directly like you use the mic to control this especially this I think you can use it to turn the turn this on or turn this off I don't know if you can see that hits yeah turn it on or turn it off you can use the mic for that then this is tone style let me see yeah I think it's pretty astonishing like you can control the kind of tone you want pitch correct amount I think you can tell it how much pitch correction it should do I've not really used this because I'm just such a great singer <laughs> joking but yeah I have not had to use this I don't know how it, if it's that good but yeah this is the pitch correct amount this is just for the first page I mean <laughs> oh my god I've already spent like more than four minutes on the first page let's just see how fast we can go and how detailed we can still go into it output you can decide if it's stereo or mono or dual mono the difference I've noticed in this is stereo of course both effect effect and dry vocals should come out of the two two outputs here right and left then mono mono the dry comes here and the effects comes come here then the dual mono oh my god I think I forgot what that means 
de doigt mon eau. De doigt mon eau, actually, I think from the meaning, like from the name, it might mean both, both, both producing the. No. No. Makes no, no, what I'm thinking makes no sense. But what I'm noticing the difference between all three of them is when you're using the pedal in the stereo mode, the looping only, you can only loop for 15 seconds without, I'm talking about before, according to uh, information online, if you update your firmware, you'll have 30 seconds. But let's just, let me just tell you the basic out of the box. Then when you update your firmware, you get two times of everything. So out of the box, if you're in stereo mode, you get 15 seconds of looping. If you're in mono, you get 30 seconds of mo looping. And dual, I think the same thing. I guess the same thing. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's that. But when you update it, I guess you'll get 30 seconds of looping for stereo, one minute of looping, that's 60 seconds for mono, and same for the dual, I suppose. Voice cancel is supposed to help you like in a karaoke situation where you have a song and a, you don't have the instrument, you just have a song. You can connect it and I don't know how it works. I've not really tried it, but maybe we'll try it today. You just connect, you just play a song and then you ask it to cancel the voice and it cancels it. Let me see if I can do it quickly. Uh, let's go for an easy song to go for. Is, uh, I won't use any of the famous songs before I get copyright. Let me just tap any song on screen. Okay, so let's just go for the song Out of Love by Chiki. Let me just reduce the volume before I... Out of, out of love by Chiki. I just. Let me do it. Try to do the voice dancing. See? It doesn't exactly do the job, actually. But I think it just reduces the volume. If you ask me. I don't think it does much, but you, you get the point. That's for the voice vocal cancel. I just don't, okay, it's off. Lead mood. I'm thinking it's, it mutes your mic. Because the lead is, the lead in this sense is the... Okay, let me just see again. Yeah, I think the lead is a mic in this sense, but I'm not sure. You can just try it out. Digital out level. I don't know what what I think this is just supposed to control how much can come out of this device. You can limit it if you want. Headphone. You can also limit it. So for some people, their headphones can really. Uh, put, um, how should I put this? My headphone like is very low in volume, autom like on its own. So I don't, I've never really needed this. But for, I've seen some headphones that you connect to a phone and it's really loud. So I think that's where this might help. Um, that's all for the first, the second screen. Global key, I think it helps you just like set a key and it should work for all presets. See, global key, global tempo is supposed to also I think help you fix the tempo and it should work for all presets it doesn't change in any other preset mic boost 
supposed to help you in case you're using a mic that has a low volume, a low input level, input level. So the it's supposed to help you boost it, but mine is like SM58. And if you know SM58, you know it's a really good mic. So there's no, I have not needed this. Now, so for the third screen, and the first screen is loop. Uh, what I've noticed in this is the first part. So this. Oh my God. This is really tiring to to hold this on the hand. Focus. So this part, uh, input, lead, mix, and aux. What what it means is. What it means is you can do you want to be able to loop the aux do you want to be able to uh, loop the lead mix which is like anything that goes through this either vocal or whatever sound you're making into the mic that's the lead mix you want to loop just that do you want to loop just the aux which is anything that goes through this aux connection here or do you want to loop the aux and the mic I've kept it as us and mic because I actually I usually look both of them I think this is a really good feature because it just helps you be able, like I connect a beat maker to the aux and I use it to create beats and then I I loop uh, some vocals on top of it I think that's like super awesome that's that undo this helps you in the loop situation like where you want to like either uh, after looping do you want to undo the last track the last uh, sample that you just looped if you if you turn it on it means you can if you turn it off it means you can't i think that's pretty explanation loop feedback i have no idea what this is but you guys can help me in the comments let me turn this back on because of course i want it the fifth screen lcd contrast this is pretty easy it helps you <laughs> pick how how much contrast you want on the screen up and on function looping so this is actually pretty cool up and on function looping no not up and on that is up and down actually up stroke dn i know i was calling it up and on i'm getting a call Hello? Yes, um... Sorry guys, I placed some order, it just arrived. So, this up and down button, no, oh, sorry, this up and down part section, what it's supposed to do is tell you, uh, it's supposed to decide what you use the, this, this, two pedals for so usually as it's uh, as you can see it's in looping it's the selection is looping so what it does is whenever you press this two together that's how you go to the loop mode just watch you see loop but if you I'll just go out of here so let's go back to setup but if you change it you can use it for some other stuff actually just one which is to set the key see looping set the key that's all it does you can pick either of this so when it's inside the key once you press the both uh, two of this uh, what do you call this thing actually whatever like just call it button once you press two of this the two of this it takes you to a place where you can change the key this changes the okay again i'm just Actually, once you leave it for like, almost like 15 seconds or so, it, it goes back to the to the uh, reset screen. Unlike the looping, which just stays on the looping. I think that's that's really nice because um, when when you're setting the key, usually you will not keep it the same way. You would want to like go back to what other stuff, like be able to change the presets and all. So 
I'll just go back to that. Um, once you press this, it takes you. Oh God, why do I keep leaving this for too long? Once you press this, it goes from C to A, uh, C to C. Like, just keeps going up, up on the the scale in terms of the just the letter. When you use this, it changes the what do you call this things? Is it mode or what? It goes through the major, major one, major two, major three. I don't know what major two and major three mean, but I'm thinking they are like, uh, uh, they are like, um, this thing. Uh, first interval, second interval, or something like that. Yeah. So, I'm hoping that's what it means, but yeah, you can research by yourself. So, this is what all this does. It just goes through. So in case in case of a situation where you're actually using the harmony and you're still performing and you want to like take it up, you just have to press both of these and go to the key change and just tap it twice or something like that or tap it once. Depends on how if, uh, how much key like what key you are going to be uh, switching to. So I just press this again. So let's imagine I'm singing a song and I want to just like modulate uh, a semitone higher. I'll just tap this twice like that and then I can sing and then the, the harmony will be correct but without this I, I guess I had to like squat and, and bend down and try to navigate it from here I think that's really cool if you are focused on just key changes but if you want to be doing looping I think you might you just have to pick one but in a case where you don't there's a situation where you actually don't have to pick one if you want to still be able to set the key and do all that stuff and still be able to loop you have to get uh the switch three switch pedal it helps you just control the looping directly without having to like go to looping from here so that's that um i think we are the we, we were in the setup session lead delay i think this is supposed to i don't know what this is supposed to do Fun, okay let me just try it now Check. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. So I think it's pretty clear what it's supposed to do. You know what voicing does? I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. It doesn't actually do much. But I think once you use this auto, it does something. I surrender. I surrender. Sorry, I must have heard too much of I surrender. I don't I can't see what it does. Maybe it involves something else, but that's that. Tone reference. No idea. Pitch pipe level, no idea. Room sense low cut, no idea. But I think what it does might be because I've noticed when I turn on this room sense, I start hearing like a s noise, not a bad noise, like that kind kind of like a when you record in your room performing, that noise you hear that is actually really nice, like it's just very calming. That's what this room sense did when I turned it on, but I don't know. So low cut might just mean that it cuts the lower frequency, something like that. I'm not sure. I might be very, very wrong, my dear. That's all I can say for now. Control loop mode. Okay, these are the controls. So you see that thing here, switch three. That's when you attach the switch. And then when you attach the switch, you should, you should be able to control what you can do with it. For now, I don't know why it keeps showing this. Maybe if you attach it, it, it will let you decide what you want to do with it. But I think out of the box, this is what it does. Loop, record, play for the first switch. Second switch, loop, stop, clear. Third switch, loop, undo, loop, undo. I think I should start using the name switch for this thing. I've been calling it buttons and whatnot. So let's just, I think I got a better word for it. Control mode, I think that's pretty clear. Harmony, I think this is harmony moment on. What does that mean? 
I, I surrender. So I keep saying I surrender. That's because the preset we are using is surrender. <laughs> so I don't know what this does, but I guess we'll figure it out if you just play around with it a bit more. Delay moment. I have no idea. Maybe. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think this is the switch tree. When you apply the, when you attach the switch tree, you can decide what it controls. So here it's a loop mode. And then you can, the first switch, second switch, third switch, these are all they do. But if we had other things like custom, I think you can decide what it does. See? Exactly. Why, how did I get that? <laughs> see you can control any of this wow that's actually so cool how did i not find this loop stop clear loop okay let me just start again i said it's going to be in depth so let me make sure i go through everything loop stop okay loop record play loop stop clear loop undo loop start stop one button looper tap tempo Harmony, delay, U mode, U mode is actually effect, some effect, I'll show you later. Transducer, hard tune, doubling, reverb, that's it. Second switch, loop, loop stop clear, loop undo, loop start stop, one button looper, Tap tempo, harmony, I think it does the same thing. You can just speak. Same thing, same thing. Now I still don't know what this harmony moment and delay moment does. But whatever. So that's it. So when you're in custom mode, you can decide whatever it does. And I think that's pretty cool because a lot of times I've wanted to like, normally, just out of the the box you should you should only you can only use this to turn on effects and you can use it to turn on up like three effects at a time two effects at a time five effects at a time but when you have that switch three it i mean that's all you can actually you can't use it to turn on two like two effects separately you can only use it to turn on all three effects like when it's on all the effects that have been uh connected to this will turn on but when you Turn it off all all the effects turn off but with that switch three which is written clearly here this is just for switch three it helps you turn on different effects like you can assign one switch for one effect like for example switch one for reverb switch two for hard tune switch three which hard tune is like a auto tune switch three for maybe some u mode or transducer or harmony something or you can use it to tap the tempo or some like anything i think that's really cool or delay actually the one i've needed it for is delay because there's sometimes i actually want to turn off delay why i don't want to turn on the reverb so in those kind of situations i can use it to turn on delay and turn off uh reverb or turn on delay and reverb and together like turn one on turn the other one on or turn all three on uh, both reverb delay and harmony like i can use to control it however i want but with this i can only I can only set which ones should be on while I use this and which ones should be off while I use this. I'll show you how that works later, but just know that for now. So that's it for the uh, Switch 3. I don't have a Switch 3, so it has no use for me even if I turn it on or off. But yeah, let me just keep in in look mode in case I, get, I end up getting the Switch 3. That's that. Then... This just shows me the firmware. I don't think I should be showing that. But that's that. So let's go back. So I finished the setup session. That's all you have in the setup. Now the next one I want to check. For going out, out, going out of uh, any of these modes, you just press back. It takes you back to the presets. Usually the the 
the default is always like the default screen is always this preset so let me just turn this back to like all because why not yeah that's better so let's go to the next button which is effects so as I told you earlier new mode what this does <clears throat> I think I need to get a mic stand. Just give me a minute. So what this U mode does is it changes the the effect on the mic. So I've connected the mic and I'm using a mic stand just so I can use my hands to control this. So just the same thing as a setup. Wherever you want to control, you just tap the button closest to it. This is to control this, you tap effects. To control level, you tap this favorite. To control speed, you tap practice. To control off, uh, control. <laughs> to control control, you tap mix. So for now, I, I just turn this control on just so you can hear the difference in the effects. So Actually, there are two, there are three options here. Off, on, heat. What this heat does is, whenever this is, whenever you tap this, this effect will be on. If you tap it, it will be off. Like, once this is off, the effect will be off. Once this is on, the effect will be on. Otherwise, you can just set it to be on permanently or off permanently. That's why I told you, any of these effects, there are seven effects here, any of these effects, that you actually turn keep uh like if you leave the control on heat whenever this heat is on it will be on whenever it's off whenever if this heat is on it will be on whenever it's off the effect will be off so that's that so let's just start from the first which is u mode let's just say it's let's use heat so you can be able to tell the difference so heat I surrender, I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. See, it's turning the harmony and the harmony and you mode on. I don't know if you can hear the harmony. I surrender, I surrender. Harmony is on, but it's a bit like low. But yeah, that's what the U mode does. But we can change the U mode. Let me just go and turn off the harmony so we can focus on one. Let me also turn this reverb off. That was harmony. Let me turn it off. Double. Let me turn it off. Hat tune off. Yeah, all this are off. Just so we can focus on one effect at a time. U mode. So let's use it and hit. I surrender. I surrender. I don't really know see a difference, but yeah. I think I just have very bad ears. Why micro mode wider? I surrender. Chicken. I surrender. Light chorus. I surrender. I surrender. I think I've turned this mic sensitivity on so, uh, a bit up so you can hear what I'm doing. Sorry, it's not showing. I just. This is the mic sensitivity. However loud you turn it, this will tell you how loud it is. Here. There's supposed to be a LED light here. If it's green, it's fine. If it's yellow, it's a warning. If it's red, it's bad. It's getting distorted. You should turn it down. So I'm just turning it up because, I mean, there's no even light. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. I surrender. 
I surrender. I surrender. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, it's not still showing the green, but I think I'll leave it at that. I surrender. Before my neighbors come for me. That's a light chorus. Medium chorus. Medium chorus. I surrender. I surrender. I think my order finally came. Let me just go pick it up. So I stopped. I stopped at the U mode. Medium. Medium chorus. So I'll just pick another song because I can't sing much of this I Surrender song. Let me check the key. It's in G sharp. G sharp. Let me keep it on F maybe F sharp F major Okay so turning it back off yeah so I did if you don't save it mostly the because this is a preset and you can't actually save to this preset you have to store it in one of the blank presets because this is like a, a built-in preset I'm not sure about this but I think that's how it should be but it might just be that you can actually save it to the same preset so so we are trying out the U mode right U mode okay so I'll keep it on heat actually on because I'll just keep changing the U mode I found the love du, 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 du. it's on D minor keep it on D minor okay let's just leave it at F major F F sharp just in case some of these effects have something to do with the key. So I don't miss out on that. This track is giving me a hard time. I'll just remove So we are in effect. We have tried the micro clone. She's beautiful and sweet 
I never knew you were someone waiting for me. I think this is very obvious. We were just kids, so we fell in love. Not knowing what it was. I wanna give you up. It's a flanger. Flanger feedback. I wanna give you all this time, darling. Just kiss me slow. Your arms all lie on, and in your eyes you're holding mine. I don't think I can actually go through all of it. I find love. It's giving feedback. Oh. I found the love. Guys, it's not, it's not me, it's the tuna that is bringing the key down. I found the love. Okay. I think you can try all this out yourself. Let me try this one. I found the love. I think this one is for like uh, alien voiceover. Mm -hmm. Shut the door when you leave there. Please make sure you. I found the love. Oh man. I found the love for me. It's like I'm underwater. Not that. I found the love for me. Okay. I don't think most people would want me to go through all that. Quarter. Yeah, you can decide how much delay. Quarter, eight, triplets, dotted. Dotted one eight, dotted one four, dotted one quarter, that's what I mean. Quarter triplet, sixteenth, ping pong, ping pong two, three, Multi tap one, two, three, four, five, six, classic slap, set time. I mean, I don't think I can go through all that, but let's just see one, a couple of them. I found the love for me. I found the love for me. I found the love for me. Oh shit, it's not on. Sorry, my cousin. I found the love for me. I found the love for me. I found the love for me. I found the love. That's a pretty long delay. I found the love for me. This makes me sound so good. Darling, just dive right in and pull on my lead. I'll be using the same song for all the effects just so we can uh, feel the difference and not think I changed the song because I changed the song, the sound is different. Sorry for the repeat. I found the love for me. 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 And you can also use this to set the levels. So if I say it's low, very low, the Delay will be very low, but same delay, just the volume of the delay will be very low. I found the love. You can't really hear it. Let me increase it. I found the love. You can hear it. I'll just increase this again. I found the love. So the lesser you delay, the, the lesser the level. The delay is still there. Same amount of delay, just the volume is very less. 
Then let's try this feedback. I think feedback is the, the one that actually increases the delay itself and reduces it. I found the love. I found the love. See, this increases the delay. I found the love. See? I found the love. <laughs> I think everyone gets that. So this is I can choose to turn it on or off using the lit uh, heat. I found the love. See, I use it for like the last word. I found the love. For me, you can use it in any part of a song. Darling, I found the love for me. Darling, just dive right in and follow my lead. See, uh, you can use it like in different parts of a song. Reverb. Okay, let me turn off the delay first. Off. Reverb, this is what it sounds like. I'll just turn it on and then I'll keep changing the reverb. I found the love for me. I like this one. The linus I ride She's beautiful and sweet. I found the love for me. 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 Still on key. I found the love for me. I found the love for me. So I just thought of something now, right? When I played this note, I was like, what if key, um, notes were copyrighted? <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> That's kind of a weird thought, but yeah. I found the love for me. Oh man, it's getting hot in here. But I turned off the fan just so you can hear everything. See the kind of sacrifices I make for you. Harmony. Did I turn that off? Okay, yeah. Harmony. Oh, see, it's already F sharp. I set it from here. See? F sharp. So I noticed that the best, the time the harmony works the best is actually when it's when you set the key. Even though they claim that there is an auto, I don't know how you pronounce this, auto button here. So auto key is supposed to like set the key according to whatever you think. You you tell the difference now. I found the love. Okay, I need to turn it on. I'll do it on F sharp. I found the love. For me, darling, just dive right in and follow my lead. That's the auto. Let me just change it to. Okay, let me keep it on full level. This actually, you can use this level to increase the level of harmony. Means like the volume of the harmony, yeah, the volume of the harmony. So let me just keep it on the highest so you can hear everything. So it's on auto key and it's on, just so you can hear everything. And it's high. There are different kind of harmonies you can pick. For now, it's high. I won't change it until I show you the differences between this auto key. I found the love for me. It's F sharp. I found the love for me. The linears I ride in and follow my lead. Doesn't sound too bad but it actually sounds like bad like you wouldn't want to use that in a live situation 
So, but let me just put the key correctly. F sharp. I found the love for me. The just died running and follow my lead. I found the girl. She's beautiful and sweet. See? If you set the key yourself, it makes a whole lot of difference. So I would advise setting the key yourself instead of using the auto key thing. I don't think it works fine for a proper professional performance. So that's that for the key. Now let's just go through the harmonies. I still keep the harmony very high so you can hear everything. But you can. So remember, my battery was low. My battery got exhausted, so I had to change it. I had to replace it. So as I was saying. I'll keep it on full level just so I can so just so you can hear everything. But if you're in a live situation, I will not advise keeping it on a full level because I mean it just sounds like too much. Even if I was having what other people harmonize with me, I'd rather they keep it low so I so my voice can be like because I I'm singing the lead, so usually the lead singer should be like should have more volume than the those harmonizing than the backup vocals. So you would usually want to keep it lower than this, but just for demo, I'm keeping it on the full volume so you can hear everything. And then if you want to play live, I'll advise you lower it. So that's that. Let me just go through the harmonies. So to go through the harmony, just press here, effect. See, it lifts up. So this is, right now it's on high, means uh, uh, the harmony is, uh, I think it's third, third high, yeah, third, it should be third high, because there's third and fifth in harmony situation, so they should be third, so let's just sing again through it. I found the love for me. Higher. I found the love for me. See, this sounds worse than the high. I don't know. You. So this is the this is the thing in the harmony session. You have to pick the harmony that works for you. Every harmony won't work for you. You have to pick the one that works, and not just for you, but for the song you're singing. Some songs require certain harmonies. Some require different kind of harmonies. You can't just keep one type of harmony for every song. So. But there are some harmonies that just don't go wrong, like this high that I tried. I think it has worked for every song that I've tried. But yeah, maybe it's just my voice. But if you were to sing live, I'd advise just check for the harmonies that work for different songs and for you also and stick to them. I found the love for me. I found the love for me. The angels died riding and follow my lead. I found the love for me. The angels died riding. I found the love for me. The angels died riding and follow my lead. It's actually pretty cool. I think it just makes it makes it feel like. I'm singing with a higher tempo, something like that, I don't know. It doesn't sound like, it's not a harmony, it's more like, I don't know, you can call it anything, but it's like octave up, so it kind of makes my voice sound like I, I have a very light voice when I don't. I found the love for me. Yeah, this makes my voice sound deeper too. Then this is my favorite part. This is my favorite of them all. When I want full harmony, I go for this high and low. This is two voices and yours. But there are other two voices in mine, two voices, but I prefer this one because it's, it works fine for my voice, but I don't know what works for your voice. I found the love. Don't disappoint me. I found the love for me. The lineage died running and follow my I found the girl. Sweet. I never knew you were someone 
waiting for me. We will just keep on rebelling in love. No, no, we won't it was. I will not give you up this time. Sorry, I, I kept on singing. <laughs> you can really tell I really like it. High and higher. I found a love for me. The ninjas die running and follow my lead. I found a girl, she's beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were the someone waiting for me. I know there's a sound I keep hearing. Oh, this was on. Sorry guys, let me be sure everything is off. I found the love for me. The lineage died running and fall on my knee. Yes, it was fine now. So this is this is this also works fine for me, I think. Actually maybe better than the other one. I don't know. Now I'm feeling like that. I found the girl, she's beautiful and sweet. The ninjas die riding and fall on my knee. I found the girl, she's beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were someone waiting for me. This sounds very robotic. You will not want to use that. But it might just sound better for you. We were scared so we fell in love. No, 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 what it was. I think all the deep voices actually sound very robotic. I would not give you up this time. Darling, just kiss me slow. Your heart is all I own. In your eyes, your wound in mine. Maybe I'm dancing in the dark With you between my young Barefoot on the grass Sorry, I missed a note there Listening to our favorite song When you said you loved the mess I whispered on the need my breath you I found the love <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna use the seven. For me, I think I will use them. Actually, it depends on the situation. If I'm doing like some effects, I might want to use that. The lineage die running. You are going home. Please check out. You might want to buy this device But I'm gonna show you manual So you can decide if you want it <laughs> That was really cool <laughs> I found the love for me Okay, I think this can go on, on and on Okay, that's it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, I'm not counting it properly, but it should be around 30. <laughs> I think that's all for the harmony. Yeah, apart from this, you can also, you can set the, you can play, um, use the aux play karaoke and then it should be able to detect the key yes exactly actually this i kind of judge i miss george's auto key part um where it works very well is when you are like playing a karaoke it picks the key from the karaoke and then it it, it kind of plays it from there let me pick a song oh, oh, oh. Start singing on this song. Sorry, there's a voice over on it, but there's someone singing on it. But I'm gonna 
Sounds better now. I'm falling out of love with you. Let me use a real song. I think people want to hear it properly. There's a song called Price Tag. Price Tag. Karaoke. By Jesse J. I hope they don't hold me for copyright with this. I didn't, I didn't play that ad. You play by yourself. Seems like everybody's got a price. We wanna sleep at night. When the sea comes for us and the truth comes, say, can you stop for a minute and smile? Why is everybody so serious? Acting so damn mysterious Got your shades in your eyes and your heels so high That you can't even have a good time Everybody look to the left Everybody look to the right Can you feel that? Yeah, we're paying with love tonight So that was auto key working better than before Because I'm playing a, a song through the arcs and it kind of picks the key from that now let me see if I if it sounds if picking the key sounds better. I think this song should be on F sharp. I think so. Seems like everybody's got a price. One hour sleep at night. When the sick come first and the truth comes second, just stop for a minute and smile. Oh fuck, oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. It picked the wrong key. Yeah, I picked the wrong key. Okay, I picked the right key now, let's see. Seems like everybody's got a price. We wanna sleep at night. When the sick come first and the truth comes second, just stop for a minute and smile. Why is everybody so serious? Acting so damn mysterious. Got the shades on your eyes and your heels so high that you can't even have a good time. Everybody look to the left. Everybody look to the right. Can you feel love? Like, yeah, we'll be with love tonight. It's not about the money. Okay, I don't know if that works better than the auto or the auto works better. You decide. Now let's just go for something. I think harmony is done. Let's go for the fifth effect. That's all for the harmony. Let me turn it off. This effect is a voice tight, a double. So this particular one, this is the level. You can set the level by any, I, I think any of this. Okay, only the stop you can use to set the level. Not a of this, you have to use this. Sorry, I wasn't showing it. You have to use this, not this. This does not work. So the level is set pretty high, so I'll just go for the, the style. So voice type, this was voice type sounds like. Seems like everybody's got a price. I think I already said the key to F. I just sing the same song I was singing before. I found the love, I found the love for me. 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 Okay, this was off. Again. Okay. I found the love for me. I found the love for me. I think it just makes my voice thicker, like two voices. I mean, that's what it says. Pretty obvious. 
I found the love for me. I found the love for me. I think this is a this is perfect for a situation where you just want your voice to sound like many voices at the same time. Like three voices singing together. I found the love for me. Since I've, I've heard some songs that actually are recorded like this, many voices at the same time and it sounds good. I mean, pretty much every voice is recorded that way, but they balance it. But in this case, it sounds like equal. I found the love for me. But you can use this level to reduce it, I guess. I found the love for me. 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 Okay, I think we can go on and on. I found the love for me. Sorry, this is not that in depth. I mean, I, I thought I could go through everything, but I don't think I need to because you must have seen what you wanted. But let's just check this harmony. I just remember that I didn't reduce the level. I found the love. Okay, let me set it on and set this off. I found the love for me. Let's go for the next sixth one. Hack tune. This is auto tune. <laughs> and it works crazy. Let me show you. I found the love for. Uh, I need to set the key. Yeah, I think I used the wrong key on those harmonies, but it's okay. I found the love for me. The thing is that you're riding and full of money. I found the girl, she's beautiful and see. I never knew you were someone waiting for me. That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't want to listen to that for long, but yeah, that's what I guess people who want this level of auto tune. That's really good. And that shows that you. For you to sing with auto tune, you actually have to still be able to sing a bit. Like, if I wasn't singing in the right key, that would have been really bad. Just listen. I found the love for me, the ninjas die riding. It's actually pushing me down, down, to make me get back to the original key, to the right key. And I can't really sing this, this way for long because it keeps, like making me want to sing the right key and I'll just switch. Just watch how I switch. I found the love for me The ninjas die riding For the money I found a girl She's beautiful and sweet I never knew you were the someone waiting for me We were just kids so we fell in Switch back to the region, the key I should be singing. Baby, I'm I started at G, I went down to a lot of wrong notes, and I came back to F. So, this is what happens whenever I sing with this like, it makes me just go back, like, my ear just makes me want to sing the right key, and somehow I just switch to the right key. It might take some time for this, especially for going down. I can't really go down much, but if the key is above me, mostly I can just hit it and wrong but yeah this goes to show that you have to be able to sing the right key to be able to use other tune otherwise it just because it just fine tunes your voice it doesn't actually take you from a wrong note that is very far to the right note it doesn't know the song so it can't do that so that's that for the auto tune and you can pretty much change the gender to whatever gender you want to sound like let me sound like a girl I found the love. okay this is not a girl <laughs> this sounds like 
uh, what they call them, chipmunks. I found a love for me, darling, is dying, riding, and ball on my leg. And let me sound like a man, a deep voice, man. I found a love for me, darling, is dying, riding, and ball on my leg. Okay, that's that. I don't know what this shit does, but let me see. I found the love for me. Okay, to confirm, to see how it works, let me just take it down to, no, take it back to zero. Sorry for my shaky camera. I couldn't find something to hold it. I found the love for me. The is dying, riding. See what how the shape works. Let me shift it down. I found the love for me. Okay, that's not really bad. The linear die riding and follow my lead. Makes me sound like I lost my voice. Like woke up in the morning and bad voice, like really bad voice and very deep. So it just keeps breaking like that, like a vocal fry. That's that. <laughs> I think okay sorry I need to go through all the stars this is, man this is going to be a very long last video I found the love for me okay this is not for singing definitely but yeah you can use it to sing timing check okay my I think the recording is about to end because it's reached the limit So this is why I love this device. I can actually use it for a lot of situations, singing situation, a voiceover situation for like a movie or whatnot. So let me just show you how this works. What, what should I say? At this point, you might want to buy this device because it's so good. I was trying to imitate it, but let me just speak like a normal person. Let it change my voice. At this point, you might want to buy this device, so, because it's so cool. I'm sure you're quite convinced, but I'm not trying to convince you, whatever you want, whatever you decide, but I think you should get it, because it's just too good. <laughs> okay, that's that. Let's see something else. Correct natural. Yeah, this is I think I think this is the best because it just makes you sound a bit natural than that pop one. I found the love for me. The linear die riding and follow my lead. I found the girl. She's beautiful and sweet. I never knew you were. Okay. Correct natural, correct chromatic. I found the love for me. Sounds pretty much the same. But not the same. I mean, there's a lot of difference actually. But yeah. I found the love for me. This is like that voiceover one, I think. Again, I'm asking you, you might want to buy this device because it's just too good. <laughs> Again, I'm asking you, you might want to buy this device because it's just too good. Okay, that's... Gender Bender is the last one and it just kind of changes your gender, I think. I found the love of me. Let's see. I found the love for me, darling, just dying, riding. I think just change your gender without doing anything else. That's why it's has its own simple effect. I found the love for me. So at this point, you might want to buy this device because it's just so good. Okay, enough of com convincing you all to buy the device, whatever you want. <laughs> I'm supposed to just do a demo and move on. Yeah, but you want to buy it. You might want to buy it. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Let me just turn this off. Transducer. Megaphone. Hey guys, sorry for making you want. Okay, this is not on. Hey guys, 
Hey guys. Hey guys. Why is it not working? Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. So what I uh, I just remember something. Why this is not working is this transducer part is because it comes out of the right part. I don't know why. But let me just confirm it. So I'll just change this to this part and confirm it. Oh shit. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Okay, it didn't change. I think I made a mistake. It's not... It doesn't work like that. So, I think we need to increase this drive for it to work. Sorry, I didn't show that. I've been trying to make it work. It doesn't seem to work. Check, check. Check. Check, check. Check, 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 check. Check. Check, check, check. Okay, I don't know why this isn't working. I'll come back to it later. That's the transducer. Favorite is just... Pick a favorite. See? Just press it and it saves as your favorite. This, a, this can be favorite. This can be a favorite. Like that. But this are not my favorite, so. So that's that. Practice, yes. So this is the part. Check, check. So practice, this is the part where you can play a note, like you can practice, it's like a vocal exercise. It helps you, it tell you the accuracy of the notes you just played. For example, let's say, Dun. See, just watch the screen. I don't 
know how accurate that is. Na, da, da. You can reset the stats from here. Once you press this, it resets everything. And then you can play again, or you can pick another note. See, my accuracy is like 85%. Can you see? I think that's pretty good for... for me. Let's pick another note. See how the notes are changing? Let's say F sharp. As you said, the stats, that was pretty bad. Oh, jeez, this is worse. See, it also counts the time, the amount of time I actually produce a note. 7 seconds and I'm on 56%. Oh my god, this is not impressive. But yeah, that's that. I don't think I should go in, into that anymore. That's all you need to know. These two buttons are all you need for this. Reset and then play the notes and then switch. Uh, pick another note and play it. It goes to D sharp 5. I'm thinking there should be something else, so you can pick what other notes you want to play. See, it also tells you how much, how many notes you covered, I think. You can use it to check your range. So far, that's what I think. You can also use it to see your accuracy of each note. And uh, you can use it to see how much flat you are, and how sharp you are. And the notes you need to work on. Pretty much that. So, see, the first part is range. How long you spent on the notes. Accuracy, how much you got the note correctly. Average means I think this is a score. Problem notes where you need to work on, and then you can reset the stats or play the notes. That's it. Nothing to navigate here. Let's just go back. That's practice, and then mix. This is where you can set the volume of the how loud the harmony is, how loud the out level is, how loud the delay is, delay and reverb, how loud the aux is. How loud the headphone level is. That's pretty much it. Be careful with this aux because you might just be playing from a very loud device, so you need to reduce the volume very well. That's it. Now let's go through the let's check the loop section. Uh, I need to check I need to change what this how this can navigate the loop so I can pick the uh, so that it can open the loop. I mean, I need to check what this controls so I can open the loop session section. Yes, it's here. Set the key. Now I'll change it from set key. Right now, if you press it, it goes to set the key. But I want to change it from that to loop. See? Looping. Now if I press it, it should take me to looping. See? Now let's loop something. Ooh. I'm not very good at this looping thing, but let's just try. 
If you press and hold it, sorry, I mean this. I know why this is not, this is very dark. You can use this to stop and you can press and hold it to clear. See, clear. You can use this to either record or overdub. See, recording, recording, recording. See, recording, recording, recording. Overdub. Overdub, overdub. Then you can use this to undo by pressing it and holding it. Undo the last thing you recorded. Overdub. Removing it. So, and then use this to stop. And then use this to exit, leave the place completely. This last one. This is the last one to remove to go out of the recording entirely. So let's go back to recording. Now let's just count. Let me show you that it's 15 seconds so far. If you change it from stereo, this way you change it. Setup. Come to setup. Here, output. If you change it from stereo to mono, the, the recording time increases watch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i mean i'm counting really fast but i think you can tell just watch how slow it is that's reading this is 30 seconds i think you can use the timer on the video to calculate that it's 30 seconds To go to the second, seven, second uh, eight, quarter, nine, third eight, quarter, and then the fourth quarter. So you can use the video to calculate it. But let's just stop it, and then let let me take it back to stereo, and then you see the difference. Stereo, mono, stereo. Now watch. One, two, and I think just use the video timer to tell. That's 15 seconds. So, yeah. That's that. That's all about the loop. If you buy the Switch 3, you can transfer the loop to somewhere else or use it for something else completely. You can use it for delay, reverb or whatever to turn it on and off. Now let's go. I think that's it. And then I'll just show you the last preset. It goes from one. You can use this to control the presets. This, this switch. See? I'll show you the last preset. It goes from one to 195, I think. Oh no, more than that. 235, yes. So the last preset is 234, and then from here you can save your own presets. I think if you connect it to your laptop, you can actually save beyond 235 to maybe something around 1000 or so. I don't know. I'm not sure about this, but yeah, you can find that out by yourself. I can't really do that right now. That's all for the... I think I've covered all of this. That's all all of it and 
yeah, you can figure the rest of it out. I think I there's just few things I did, I I couldn't say because I wasn't sure. I couldn't confirm, but I at least went through it and I showed you it. And then there are a couple um, effects that I didn't really touch. But I touched all the effects, but I didn't touch like all the styles of the effects because there are so many of them. And this video will just be ten hours if we go through all that. So I think it's already even one hour, if not, if not more. But yeah, this is all I have. So go through regarding this. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I struggled to make it. <laughs> Uh, not as much as I enjoyed making it. I'm not sure I enjoyed this, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and it's useful to you because I really searched online to try to find a video like this and I couldn't find. I hope this works for you. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Share it to your friends who want to buy this device so they can have an in-depth video on the device before buying it. And bye-bye. Someday I think I'll try to make an app that you can actually use to navigate every device before buying it so in that app you just have to like save the device or something maybe a bit you can purchase it for like maybe one one rupee or one naira or one cent something just you can purchase it online first and use it because that's how you pay the people who made the app use the the device on the app navigate all around like it's like a visual form of the device so you can go through the device properly it's just like the way you you can go to google map and actually navigate a, a, a location so the same way I, I i'm thinking of making an app that you can use to navigate a device like this so that you can feel good about it before buying it you will not exactly get the effects it will just be like a dummy where you can actually go through all the just go through the device and see all what it promises to offer and then when you buy it and then you can watch youtube videos to see the results from people who have performed with it and then you can choose whether you want to buy it or not all right thank you guys for watching you take care bye bye so i figured why this transducer was not working was because i was in mono mode if you're in mono it wouldn't work you have to be in stereo before it it works so i think in stereo it works let me see Ooh. Everyone check, check, check. So let me see if it works in a dual mono. Check, check, check. It works in dual mono. Then let me check again if it works in mono. What happened? Check, check, check. Why wasn't it working before? Check, 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 check. It works in everything. I don't know why it wasn't working. Whatever, so this is... Let me just go through it. So this is what it sounds like. Radio. Let me see megaphone. Check, check, check. Leave that... You can buy this on Amazon or Sweetwater or whatever website you want or you can just check, check, check or you can just um, check it somewhere, check it, Google it and find any website and buy it. I think it keeps cutting the signal for whatever reason. Check, check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I don't have anything to say, so I'll just count. Check, 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 check. One, two, three, four. Check, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, check, check, check. Check, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Check, 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 one, two. Okay. Check, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. Check, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. There's nothing much to go in, go on and about. That's it. So it's working fine. I don't know why it wasn't working. But yeah, maybe some bug or something. But yeah. That's how it works. I hope you got that. So it works in stereo mono, dual mono. Forgive me for saying it doesn't work in mono. It works in every one. But I don't know why it wasn't working. In the beginning. Because I felt like because I changed the mono and stereo, that might be the reason it wasn't working. But yeah, it looks like I was wrong just wasn't working that's it for now 
you take care okay i didn't loop the there's one thing i didn't do i didn't loop the box why oh, i can't loop it my phone is dead it's gone anyway i think you should be able to do that i did it and it worked fine you should be able to do that all right that's it